Good evening everyone and welcome to today's session. <coughs> Maren Rahul Khanna Jannat Rehana Shweta and everybody who are all online. December 31st, 2019, we're all saying goodbye to the 209 to enter and emerge into the new world of 2020. I wish a good number of you are going to be toppers and take up the dream branch of your uh, always dream to become a world-class medical specialist and physician. So let's make the great beginning doctor. Indira, Sri Lekha, Akshit, Pramod, many more. So the NEET PG exam is a precursor. There is a forefather to this NEET PG FMG. Both the NEET PG and FMG have the same daddy who is the NAT board. So that is the reason it is worth before we go to the NEET PG to review what is the pattern, what is the trend of the examiner in the FMG which is most recently conducted. Similarly, AIMS also, it is worth revising AIMS question bank of the most recent years, last 3-4 years before you go to the NEED PG because AIMS, FMG are very closely related question banks to the pattern of the NEED PG examiner. So with that spirit, let us take up what were the questions in 2019 December FMG, what is the pattern of the exam? Now doctor, keep punching the answers so that we will make it uh, bilaterally interactive. Yes doc, yeah, please punch your class answers. Uh, yes. Akshit is proposing A. Absolutely, doctor. So, HCG is basically produced during pregnancy. It is a glycoprotein produced by the syncytial trophoblast is what you need to remember. Which is the safety muscle of the tongue? Now, doctor, before this December 2019 MCI screening test only, long, long ago, I gave you analysis saying what are the 953 topics that you need to do the revision. Am I right, doctor? You see that 300 out of 300 questions have come from this. 953 topics from the in each topic the issues the lists the single liners that we have discussed all these 300 questions are a byproduct of that only so that is the reason what I want to tell you is don't have very big imagination about the exam whether it is a NEET PG exam or whether it is FMG or whether it is AIMS. Just be sure that you have mastered these 953 topics that I have given you the list. In the descending order of the priority, 40 to 50 topics in each of these 19 subjects. You will take about 400 to 500 hours before you do the revision of all the videos that are there on this 953 topic wise made available in the online mbbs.com video library. Nobody is going to stop you from becoming a winner. 
So effectively you have to finish 30,000 MCQs from which this 953 topic list is being created from AIMS, FMG, DMB, All India, PGI, Jipmer, last 15 years question bank. That is the only secret doctor of winning. There is no other shortcut secret or anything, right? Kitne bar hum iske baare mein discuss kiya. Excellent. It is the genio glasses. Genio glasses is called the safety muscle of the tongue because if it got paralyzed, then uh, the tongue will fall back into the oropharynx. That is the reason it is called safety muscle. From where does it ori originate, Dr. Genio glasses? This Genio glasses. It is the superior genial tubercle from where it originates and uh, uh, it leads to the protrusion, safety muscle. Now, Adam's apple in the male is nothing but thyroid cartilage, no big deal at all. Thygone of bladder, beautiful question. Genito urinary embryology. Mesoreflect duct panel, mesoreflect duct, what are the derivatives of it? How is the kidneys embryology? How is the ureter? How is the bladder? Part of your 953 topic list. You have to be very sure. Very good. I get most of the correct answers. I am so happy. Distal part of the mesonephric duct. So typically the end of the mesonephric duct that become incorporated into the bladder wall and it forms the trigone. And the endothelium, epithelium, endoderm epithelium will be overgrowing onto that trigone. So that is the reason it is the distal end of the mesonephric duct is what you need to remember. Abba, this is too much easiest question in the planet examiner arrow marks dikha ki ye kya hai puch rahe kam se kam address per react spine puche to kuch ajeeb baat hai pubic symphysis ko identify nahi kar sakte kya kar sakte so this is symphysis pubis superior ramus of the pubis this is the ischial tuberosity obturator foramen the anterior inferior iliac spine this is the anterior superior iliac spine if this is the ilium this is the crest of ilium this is the sacroiliac joint and this is the sacrum and what is this this is the fifth lumbar vertebra and this is the posterior inferior spine and this is the area of greater sciatic greater sciatic notch acetabulum you can see the acetabulum the femoral head and this is the greater trochanter, lesser trochanter and intertrochanteric crest and the femur. So to be 100% sure your eyes must be running around the entire pelvis perfectly is what you need to remember. Don't think that neat PG will ask something super duper in MRI CT. Even neat PG questions will also be simple things only always. Image based MCQs are easiest to crack doctor. In patellar tendon reflex, which muscle tendon becomes stretched? Come on, keep punching the answers, doctor. It is the quadriceps femoris, vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis, rectus femoris, quadratus, quadriceps femoris. It is the one. So typically, there are sensory nerves, a dorsal root ganglion, this is the hamstring, so the moment you are tapping on the patellar tendon, it becomes stretched and that basically stimulates the alpha motor neuron to contract the quadriceps, which typically makes the uh, knee joint to undergo extension and you look for the contraction of that quadriceps while eliciting the patellar tendon. 
lot of times as medical students we will be hitting on the petal line instead of on the tendon and there are good number of occasions where we injured the patient's petal also so doctor rectus femoris vastus lateralis medialis intermedius this is called quadriceps femoris now if you take rectus femoris it has one straight head reflected head straight head arises from the anterior inferior iliac spine reflected head typically arises from the ilium just above the acetabulum it inserts into the common quadriceps tendon which will go and insert on the tibial tuberosity via the patellar ligament so it leads to the extension of the leg at the knee joint and it flexes the thigh at the hip joint hip joint is what you need to remember and what is rectus femoris supplied by femoral nerve now not it melanin is derived from where was the examiner's question <coughs> Do you like to try an answer? Keep punching the answers. Actually, I would have given it like a PowerPoint uh, quiz show for you guys, but I did not have that kind of a time today. So very good. Most of you are betting on A, tyrosine. Absolutely, tyrosine become dopa, dopa become dopamine. Dopamine will give. Origin to melanin red polymers along with cysteine. Dopamine become lupodopa chrome. That become 5 dihydroxy indole. That become indole 5 C quinone. That lead to melanochrome and melanin. Finally, you need to remember tyrosine is the component in melanin. Is what you need to remember. <coughs> A female presents with galactoria, amenorrhea, pituitary adenoma. What is our favorite bet? My kitne bar. Every time my job as a teacher is like a, uh, a nagging parent. Padu, padu, padu. Ye topic padu. Bhulna nahi. Actually, the teacher's job is that. Teacher is not to teach. Teacher is to inspire you. Teacher is there to elicit that intellectual curiosity in you. To be very sure on what examiner is expecting. Visual field defects. मैं आज भी बोल रहा हूँ अध्यक्ष महोदय. अगले साल भी बोलूँगा यही बात. Without a question on visual field defect, अगर नीट पीछे एग्जाम है तो मेरा नाम मुरली बरदाज नहीं है कितना कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ बोल रहा हूं आपको डेफिनेटली वन क्वेश्चन ऑन विजुअल फील्ड डिफेक्ट बाय टेंपोरल हेमियनोपिया बाय टेंपोरल बोथ द साइड्स टेंपोरल फील्ड्स आर फसक सो बाय टेंपोरल हेमियनोपिया बिकॉज़ ऑफ द कंप्रेशन ऑप्टिक चैस्मो बाय द पिट्यूटरी ट्यूमर और अ मेनिनजियोमा बिहाइंड द optic chasma if there is any lesion of the left optic tract or lateral geniculate body optic radiation or visual cortex that lead to contralateral side homonemous hemianopia one side temporal one side nasal then lesion of the left optic radiation when it is passing through the temporal lobe temporal lobe please don't forget definitely on the other question that lead to superior right quadrant anopia and that is called pi in the sky kind of a lesion and uh, any visual cortical lesion visual cortex collision will lead to sparing of the macula sparing of the macula is what you need to remember very good to see divya prakash solanki Abhishek, Jagadishwari, Shravya, and many more. Thank you all for joining uh, the last day of two zero one nine. Actually, every day we are meeting more or less, more or less every day we are meeting a couple of hours to discuss about sixty to eighty questions across the year. so almost uh, there is some kind of a 
attachment that forms between teacher and student when we are meeting every day. So that is the reason, let me tell you, not only you, I am also anxiously waiting. What are the questions going to come in the net PG and how you are going to crack them? How we can improve as a teacher, right? To direct you more focused, more towards the examiner's expectation. That is a, that is a learning every exam, last 25 years, every time the all India entrance is over, we keep on introspecting as to how better we can become as a teacher to help you. Ultimately, what is the goal of any teaching coaching program, doctor? Read less, score more. Read less, score more. Because life is meant to have fun, not to waste in the dark reading room, right? So how to read less? Score more with focus, right doc? Now, testosterone is produced by the Leydig cells. Remember, LT. Septoli is involved in what? Spermatogenesis. That is what you need to remember. Fertilized egg, obviously, is capable of doing anything. It is like Sarvantaryami, omnipotent capability. It has got, so it is totipotent. Mark this artery that you are able, that you are seeing in the leg. Mark this artery seen in the leg. So it is basically posterior tibial artery very close to the tibial nerve. In the tarsal tunnel, this is the flexor retinaculum, this is the calcaneum, this is the medial malleolus, this is the tibialis posterior, this is the flexor digitorum longus tendon, and this is the flexor hallucis longus tendon. So the structures of the tarsal tunnel, flexor retinaculum ke niche kya hai is the favorite question of the exam. See a artery is seen at which level? Who is going to give me the correct answer? I will go and say one more time. You can see it. My 953 topic list is given to you. Anatomy is in the anatomical level. Is in the top 20. Top 20 topic list. Inevitably, the examiner will ask you. Similarly, root values of the various biceps, triceps, knee jerk. You have to be very sure, doctor. Right? Now, Guru Prasad is proposing T12. Very good. So, Guru Prasad, every time I see you, I remember a top physician. I really admire that guy, Dr. Guru. He is from All India Institute of Medical Sciences. Like a Sherlock Holmes, he catches the diagnosis. Right? So, I wish Guru will also make, uh, Guru Prasad also will become one day a big time physician. Now, Dr. Celia Catrico, three terminal branches later. Left gastric, splenic artery, hepatic artery. It typically originates at the level of the lower border of the T12 vertebra. Is what you need to remember. Once more, doctor, this is one table you need to remember. Hepatic vein arise, inferior phrenic vein at T8 level, then right gonadal vein at L2 level. Similarly, where does inferior mesenteric artery arise, superior mesenteric artery arise, celiac trunk arise? This is one anatomical level ka apne aapka ek list rehna hai, doctor. That is very, very important. Now, highest point of iliac crest is at which level? It is at the level of L4, is what you need to remember. So, iliac crest, typically the highest point lies opposite the body of the fourth lumbar vertebra. That is what examiner is going to remember and ask you. Once more, FMG December 2019 ka Charcha ho raha hai abhi parliament mein. 45 year old policeman comes from duty to complain of pain in the right leg. In the buttock, 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 buttock. That is the one that points towards the diagnosis of aortoiliac occlusion. 
Aortoiliac occlusion lead to claudication in the buttock area. Very important to remember. So, doctor, buttock hip. Jab bhi claudication hota hai, think of aortoiliac disease. Thai, aortoiliac and common femoral artery. Common femoral artery. Then upper two thirds of the calf, superficial femoral artery. Lower one third of the calf, popliteal artery. Claudication of the foot, tibial and peroneal artery. And what is Lerich syndrome, doctor? What is the triad of clinical features? Claudication, absent femoral pulses, erectile dysfunction because gonadal artery arises from the iota. So that combination is called Lerich syndrome, aorto um, occlusion, iliac occlusion is what you need to understand. Whatever, hum bahut kush ho 80 online students, please tell your classmates also, doctor, to join to this historical discussion on the FMG MCI screening test, December 2019 pattern, right? Now, in the myopia, image kaha girega? Anterior to the retina, normal vision mein exactly retina ke upar lag raha hai. Myopia mein retina ke aage. Hypermetropia me tick 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 retina ke piche kya hai retina ke piche hypermetropia hai right now the muscle which is being shown what is this biceps biceps is supplied by musculocutaneous nerve you should remember this very clearly put in. Why? Because <clears throat> biceps go two functions. It flexes your elbow. It supinates. Supinates pole to supine ka position mein aata hai palm. Pronation means pressing. So supinate function is also there for your biceps. So supination occur in by is caused by two muscles one is biceps breaking other is supinator but supinator is supplied by radial nerve biceps breaking by muscular cutaneous nerve so what will happen if you get a fracture in the lower third of the humerus that lead to injury to the radial nerve that lead to paralysis of your supinator because it is supplied by radial so the guy cannot be able to supinate with the elbow extended but when you flex the elbow in supinating, then it is the biceps which is the most important supinator. So that is the reason what will happen. Biceps is a supinator in a flexed position of elbow. Supinator is the muscle which is the supinator in the extended position of the elbow. But supinator is supplied by radial nerve. Biceps is supplied by musculocutaneous nerve. So whenever radial nerve injury is there, the person cannot supinate with the elbow extended, but still he can supinate with the elbow flexed because musculocutaneous is the one which is supplying the biceps is what you need to basically remember. From where does the musculocutaneous arise? Lateral cord of the brachial plexus, it pierces the coracobrachialis, it supplies biceps brachiae, brachialis, coracobrachialis, and it continues as the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. Once more, doctor. What is the Nostradamus prediction? Nostradamus prediction is. Without a question of radial nerve, ulnar nerve, median nerve, axillary nerve, muscular nerve, one of these brachial plexus nerve ke bina, other examiner need PGI, FMG or AIMS or PGI conduct karne do, mein istifa karta hu. Right? So, isliya, that's more there. 
Preparation is very easy. Provided you know what are the 953 topics that you need to belt properly. Completely get ready. If I scratch it, 20 points get, 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 get like a professor of Italia. You should be in a position to warm it out. 20 points on each of these 953 topics. Mushkil hai kya? Nothing. Not at all difficult. So that is the reason, doctor. Please tell your juniors also. Idhar udhar bhagne ka jarurat nahi hai. Idhar utra tension mein jane ka jarurat nahi hai. Online MBBS.com is your best companion with almost 20 years experience in mentoring the medical students to become. We are the first guy in the country who started video classes way back in 1999. Everybody said, Are ye video log preparation There are about 70 centers in the country where students used to attend. Those days there was no internet. Pura LCD projector ke upar chala te te recorded videos. So after that we started giving uh, DVDs, uh, pen drives, then online video, down online live streaming. Now online live streaming sitting in the home, you sitting in the home, anytime in the day. Itna advanced ho gaya. So isliye humko malum hai, 2 lakh students ko dekhne ke baad, what are your uncertainties? Where do you feel lost? What are the few things that you need to study? How to study less and score high? That is the whole purpose of any coaching program. So online MBBS.com is having 2 lakh PowerPoint slides like this, 1000 plus hours of video lectures, 30,000 MCQs, topic wise classified into this 953 topics discussed, debated and made available, 200 full scale grant tests and discussions, subject tests and discussions are available. In addition to all that, every day we discuss about two hours of live online interactive with you and keep finishing one subject every week, long subjects every two weeks, every day for a couple of hours, khelte khelte, mainly to stimulate you to go back to the video library and then straighten up your concepts. And you don't need one full year to waste your beautiful life. Even if you have five to six months of time, if you spend with us seriously, both on live classes and the online MBBS video library, more than enough to win. And the beauty part is become part of our WhatsApp study group. We have around 20,000 students in various WhatsApp groups. If you are not a part of it, please call 9000-868-356. Right now? And uh, every time we are starting a class, you get a notification. And uh, you have wonderful classmates like Mohan Babu, Nagaredi, Life is Good, Sara Khan, Ashwin Maran, and many more across the country who will not let you down, who will not let you to perceive any anxiety or tension about exam. And khelte khelte, you should enjoy the preparation doctor, very important. So biceps has a long head, short head. And uh, it is the musculocutaneous. Whatever. Examiner, I think, easiest question in the planet Earth. Is point go kya bolte? Terry on. Middle meningeal artery is a branch of which artery? Favorite question, Dr. Maxillary artery, maxillary artery. Uh, carotid artery, aorta branches, these are all the favorite areas. One question on artery, Jerudaiga, maxillary artery. Fata fat polo doctor, maxillary artery ka branches kya hota hai? Before lateral pterygoid, five branches. Lateral or within lateral pterygoid, four to five branches. Beyond lateral pterygoid, five to six branches. This is what you need to remember. Before lateral pterygoid, this is lateral pterygoid. 
Five branches. Middle meningeal is a branch of the maxillary artery, first part before pterygoid. It passes through foramen spinosum. Anterior tympanic artery, branch of maxillary, passes through terre, tero tympanic fissure. Then deep auricular branch, which is the branch of the maxillary artery, passes through squamo tympanic fissure. Then, doctor, you have uh, inferior alveolar artery, deep temporal artery, buccal and lingual arteries, they're all from the maxillary. Then, after lateral pterygoid, posture superior alveolar, sphenopalatine, greater and lesser palatine arteries, pharyngeal arteries, these are all the branches of the maxillary. Now, doctor, my bhaut kush ho gaya, is question ko dekhe. Once more, what is the Nostradamus prediction? Hum isi manch par bhaut baar discuss kiya, hum adhaj bhoda hai ki definitely one question is going to come on aortic ganglion, gesserian ganglion, Terego palatine ganglion. Without that, there is no question paper, doctor. Similarly, seventh, fifth cranial nerve, seventh cranial nerve. Those who are following me since June, uh, you remember in June we discussed almost 35 hours of anatomy. We made it available in the online MBBS.com video library. Hum all the way jake. Neat MTS ka anatomy question divan ko bhi khatam kar diya. Topic wise classified karke. 7th, 5th, 7th, 5th and glossopharyngeal vagus. These things doctor definitely examiner is going to uh, ask. Now doctor, uh, Raghu Verma is saying nostalgic remembering how we did in FMG. Good. So, Doctor, Terego Palatine Ganglion. So, basically, Terego Palatine Ganglion ka dusra naam hota hai, Hay Fever Ganglion. Kyun? Hay Fever aage hai toh? Aankun se aansu niklega. There will be rhinorrhea. For all that who is secretomodal, Terego Palatine. So, parasympathetic secretomodal of terego palatine. From where does it arise? Superior salivatory and lacrimal nucleus in the pons. It passes through the facial nerve in the mid ear, in the middle ear. It travels to the greater superficial petrosal nerve and through a hiatus it enters into midcranial fossa, it enters foramen lacerum, it joins deep petrosal and that is the typical journey. Similarly, pterygopalatine fossa relates to the pterygopalatine ganglion and postganglion fibers. Where will they go to? Lacrimal nasal palatine glands is what you need to remember. Still, punch five days ka time hai, doctor. I aapko promise kar raho. Vortic pterygopalatine gesserian. A teen ganglions and fifth, seventh, ninth. A class katam hotehi online mbbs.com video library mein jake a revision jarur karna chahi. So, doctor, the greater petrosal now from the seventh cranial now will bring the fibers coming from the pons to reach the pterygopalatine. From pterygopalatine, secretomotor fibers go to lacrimal gland, nasal cavity, nasopharynx, and also to the palate. That is what you need to remember. Now, doctor, a lady has 50% burns of dermis, subcutaneous tissue comes to you. How do you like to classify? Parkland formula, burns classification, burns complication and management. Without that, there will be no question paper, right? It is like a syllabus, the 953 topics that I gave you in that PDF. 
If you didn't get that PDF, please call our helpline. 9000868356. आपको ये यू हम WhatsApp ग्रुप में ऐड करेंगे और PDF भी भेजेंगे. Right, Doc? So you have a superficial, superficial, partial, deep partial, and full thickness bar. So superficial को दूसरे नाम है first degree. Superficial partial को कहते हैं second degree. Deep partial is called third degree. First degree में epidermis only. Second degree में dermis papillary area. Third degree में dermis reticular area. Full thickness में hypodermis. That is the subcutaneous tissue is also involved. If it is only first degree with only epidermis involved, pain, redness, mild swelling will be there. But if the dermis is involved, pain, blisters, blotchy skin, and severe swelling, the moment dermis reticular area get involved, it become white, leathery, and relatively painless. Even full thickness also is painless and that lead to eschar formation. So doctor, a first degree burn is confined exclusively to the outer surface. No skin barrier functions are altered. You can give bacitracin, can be applied several times. Second degree burns, there is a damage to the epidermis and also to part of the dermis. It can be superficial second degree. Mild second degree, deep second degree, deep second degree ko bolte hai, deep partial thickness. So you need to do debridement, debride the blisters which are limiting the joint movement, clean the wound. There are all the things that you need to do. So doctor, I don't repeat because many times more extensively we discuss burns. The whole idea of this discussion is, how our 953 grand list is matching the examiner's questions. That's all. So that I want to once more tell you that those who had been with me for the past one year, you have done a good preparation. Be very sure. No need of anxiety, panic, anything. Those who are little lately joined with me also, no worries. Those who have recently joined with me, let me tell you that I am there with you. 2020 may be rose padai karenge, every Sunday grant test discussion karenge, every Saturday subject test discussion karenge. Our last December 1st to January 4th, hum sab every day full scale grant test le lenge. So I am very much there with you, so no worries. Now, doctor, examiner is asking you. What is this? Very easy question. Testicular torsion. Frames sign. What is frame sign? How do you differentiate? If there is any epididymoarchitis versus testicular torsion. If you elevate this scrotum, the pain worsens. That is torsion. If you elevate the torsion is what hanging. Hanging mein kya hota? Elevate karte hai, mar jate. So elevate the scrotum from the bottom, the pain worsens. Frame sign is the differentiator between torsion and epididymoarchitis. So typically diagnosis, you do the duplex scan of the scrotum, it shows a cutoff of the arterial blood flow and scrotal exploration as early as six hours. It is an emergency to save a testicle. You need to do orchidectomy of devitalized testis is what you need to remember. So what is a very classical radiological picture of testicular torsion doctor? This is called whirlpool, 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 whirlpool. Whirlpool sign, whirlpool sign because of the torsion is what you classically see, radiologically. Now, 20 year old female diagnosed previously with adenocarcinoma. 
she is being diagnosed. So what is this called? Sister May Joseph nodule, which is typically the umbilical metastasis that you can be able to see. 20 year old girl distal ileum was removed. Ileum is required for vitamin B12 and also for the bisalt recirculation. That is what you need to remember. 62 year old kidney stone. He had done percutaneous nephrolithotomy. And after two days, she again comes with chills and fever. So after doing PCNL, it's like a blind procedure, right? So after doing PCNL, there can be hemorrhage, there can be infection, multiple complications. So this is bacterial sepsis, which is a known complication of PCNL. So, which kind of patients are at risk of developing sepsis after you do PCNL, infectious stones, hydronephrosis, inveling, ureteral stent, nephrostomy tube, preoperative urinary tract infection, etc., etc., is what you need to remember. So, what are the complications of the PCNL? There can be injury, you are hitting like James Bond 007. So, spleen, pleura, colon. Hemorrhage, sepsis, extravasation because the rupture of the collecting system and any retained stone fragments, any of them can be the complications of the PCNL is what you need to remember. Identify this condition once more, standard MCQ. One question on port wine stain, strawberry angioma, without that there is no paper, port wine stain. Port wine stain ka dusra name kya hai doctor? Nevus planius. It is a vascular birthmark. It is large, irregular, deep, red, purple, macule with well defined borders. It is a vascular malformation and the lesions they do not enlarge but they will be persisting throughout life. Right? How do you treat? Pulsed dye laser. Excision, grafting, cosmetic masking. How will you remember? Stain will remain forever. Port wine stain. It won't regress. How will you remember? Stain. What is meant by stain in your character? Koi badnami kiya aapko. Right? Koi badnami kiya. One of my very good friends, he is an orthopedic surgeon in Warangal. He used to be like our class leader, very nice guy. So, a lady came to the OPD and uh, he needed to do the physical examination of her. She is complaining of back pain. Already there is one lady, uh, medical officer is there, couple of female nurses are there. It is a busy OPD. So, he said while examining, he turned and then he touched him. Immediately she got up and said, you have done sexual molesty. Oh my God. Then one group of people just walked into the OPD and they are threatening him. Luckily, just one week before he has installed the CC camera. CC camera. So he is also the medical council, uh, IMA, IMA uh, local guy. And he is a very nice guy. He is not of that kind. So he took the CC camera findings and uh, counterbooked the female who was accusing him falsely. But the kind of trauma we being sensitive as clinicians, as uh, academicians, right doctor? So that there are bigger challenges after you join, uh, become a consultant. There are many more bigger challenges. So, kabi kabi badnami jo hota hai, it is like a stain. A stain aagaya to kya karna padta? Excision, grafting, or pulse dye laser. It will remain forever. It won't regress, right? So that is the whole challenge of that. <clears throat> yes. Now. Abdominal pain, fever and jaundice. 
What is this triad called as? The triad is called Charket's triad. So, what is Saint's triad, doctor? Diverticulosis of the colon, diaphragmatic hernia with the gallstones. Because the etiology, etiology is common to all the three same similar etiology, etiological risk factors. So they can coexist. Gallstone, diverticulosis, colon, and diaphragmatic hernia and hiatus hernia, same strand. What is Raynaud's pentad? Typically, if you have obstructive ascending cholangitis clinical features, right upper quadrant pain, jaundice, fever, along with that, if there is also shock, there is low blood pressure, tachycardia, and a altered mental status. So, that is called Raynaud's pentod, is what you need to emphatically remember. Then what is virtuous trend? The blood flow abnormality stasis, endothelial dysfunction, hypercoagulable state, the three will conspire to lead to the prothrombotic tendency is what you need to remember. A 40 year old patient with femur fracture, pulmonary infiltration, respiratory distress, classical question of fat embolism. So, better prognosis in breast cancer. Huh? This is Masala question, doctor. I told you, no, breast cancer, carcinoma cervix, carcinoma endometrium, ovarian cancer. One question on fibroma. Without that, there is no paper. What are the five things? I am telling you, NEET PG is not for 300 marks. It is only for 295. Why? Breast cancer, ovarian cancer, carcinoma cervix, right? Then fibromyoma, endometrial cancer. Invariably, examiner will ask the question sort of this. Now, punch your answers, doctor, for this question. Luminal A patient has a better prognosis. But yeah, a luminal kya hai padayin karayin. There are four molecular subtypes of breast cancer. Luminal A, Luminal B, HER2 positive and TNBC. So, ER, estrogen receptor positive, PR can be plus or minus, HER2 is negative and KI67 is less than 14% Luminal A. Luminal B kya hota? ER, PR positive, similar to luminal A, but HER2 is plus or minus and key, KI67 is more than 14%. Similarly, HER2 positive means only HER2 is positive and KI67 more than 14%. TNBC means all the three are negative, only KI67 is more than 14%. So that is how, based on the molecular subtypes of breast cancer, the breast cancer has been divided. Now if you take luminal A, luminal A, so uh, you need to consider chemotherapy if there is any high tumor burden or uh, if it is of the grade 3. Luminal B, who are HER2 negative, you can do ET plus CT for majority. Then luminal B, HER2 positive, you can give CT, anti HER2 and ET for all the patients. HER2 positive, who are non-luminal, you can give CT and anti HER2. Then triple negative, then chemotherapy. That is how you can be able to stratify the patients. So, the gene expression pattern, if you look at the luminal A guys, they have cytokeratins, high expression of the hormonal receptors and associated genes. 
and uh, clinically they present like 50% are invasive breast cancer but still luminal A is ER positive and best to overall survival that is what you need to remember whereas basal it is ER negative PR negative HER2 negative and worst prognosis is what you have to remember gotcha now a long term diabetic patient walk few miles in hot sand then developed blisters Rajasthan Jaipur ka hai so what is that you are seeing you can see necrotizing fasciitis is what you are seeing in this diabetic individual now a man was presented to emergency with head injury after an accident what is the investigation of choice doctor always it is the non-contrast not CSCP non-contrast CP lot of times head trauma patients go non-contrast CT karte scooter se gir gaya motorcycle se gir gaya achcha CT ko leke jau bolke bolte emergency department mein lot of times it turns normal but still it is the imaging of choice to detect any potential brain injuries in the head trauma is what you should remember Alvarado score 2 defines what once more appendicitis in surgery in surgery is one of the top I have given you 70 topics in descending order in surgery it comes in the top 20 list so Alvarado is a favorite question in fact one score zero data hai doctor that score can be child puke score glasgow score right alvarado score so many scores are there not doctors huh? apache score so alvarado score leukocytosis get two points now ek bar dekho alvarado score mein kya data doctor migration of pain anorexia nausea rebound pain elevated temperature shift of WBCs to the left to the left that is one whereas tenderness in the right right lower quadrant is score two leukocytosis even that is also score is two so tenderness in left nine right here for two score that's a point you need to understand what is the early investigation of genital TB? Once more, TB. Other word TB is not there in that 300 MCQ question paper now, doctor. That is no more Indian MLE. You should consider it as US MLE, right? Huh. TB, the Jerudai, lung may TB, bone may TB, spine may TB, genital urinary TB, Harjaga TB. Now, doctor, early investigation of choice. Early morning urine sample. The gold standard for the diagnosis is the isolation and culture of mycobacterium in suspected case of JUTB by collecting the early morning urine sample is what you need to remember. Abhi Agya, what is the Nostradamus prediction? Without crowns, ulcers, cobblestone, strictures, sign of Kentor. Kabi entrance hota kya? Nahi hoga, nahi hoga. Right? So, easily a doctor, khelte, khelte, you can clear the exam. Only thing is, it's a drudgery. There are about uh, 10,000 uh, forgettable dry points you need to remember but first time they look new second time they look new I mean little old third time spinal cord level pay you can recite it right is it really difficult no not at all so Crohn's disease rectum is not involved of that so very very sure Crohn's can involve any part of the GI tract, skipped lesions, it can go up to mouth. Ulcerative colitis is only colon, 
skip areas in Crohn's, rectal spare in Crohn's, non casing granulomas Crohn's, transmural inflammation Crohn's, that is the reason it leads to fistulae abscesses in Crohn's, strictures in Crohn's, ileum and cecum commonly involved in Crohn's, perianal disease Crohn's is what you need to remember. So tell me doctor, is there any new thing, sudden surprise thing that the examiner is asking? No, not at all. If you are well aware of those 953 topics and prepared along with Dr. Murli Bharadwaj. Patient underwent gastrectomy after eating within 20 minutes, within 20 minutes, sweating, diarrhea, phobia. That itself that itself uh, uh, <clears throat> indicates that doctor within 20 bolte hi common sense angreji kisi ko samaj mein aa hai to early dumping bol ke answer karke pass ho sakte right but let us talk about it early dumping syndrome occurs within 20 to 30 minutes after ingestion of meal Late dumping appears two to three hours after the meal. Late dumping is less common. Early dumping is very common. Aajkal ke romance mein kya chal raha hai? Early dumping or late dumping? Probably about 50 years back, no dumping. When we were in uh, medical college 25 years back, late dumping. But Aajkal though, early, very early, how to lose a man in 5 minutes, how to lose a boyfriend in 5 minutes, before that guy cries, you give handkerchief, your new boyfriend can arrive, right? So, early dumping syndrome. It presents with both the GI symptoms and cardiovascular symptoms. Dil mein dharak raha hai, doctor, cardiovascular. Vomiting, ultia, hore, diarrhea, hore, doctor, GI, both the things in early dumping. So, doctor, nausea, vomiting, sense of epigastric fullness, eruptations, cramping of abdominal pain, explosive diarrhea, these are all the GI symptoms of early dumping. Palpitations, tachycardia, diaphoresis, fainting, giddiness, flushing. Blood vision, they are all cardiovascular symptoms. Now, early dumping is more common after partial gastrectomy with Billroth type 2 reconstruction. And it is less commonly seen in Billroth type 1 gastrectomy or after vagotomy and drainage procedures. Vagus will lead to motility of the gut. So if you have done megotomy, how can dumping can occur? It can't. Right? Now, let us look why early dumping occur. Uh, thank you Raghu Verma, Abhishek Verma for... Uh, actually it is all you guys doctor. Rose padai ke liye bulai to tak adate aap sab pura across the country. I think that is the most fortunate thing uh, of my life. Every day I become younger and younger and younger meeting you younger guys. I no more feel I am 46. I still feel I am only 23, 24. Studying with you every day for the forthcoming NEET PG exam. So once more thanks for coming. The other day, Midnight Masala, there are 220 online across the country while we were discussing anesthesia. I was so happy, right? The most relished uh, uh, experience. So doctor, tell your juniors, every day, two hours, 500 hours of live online interactive, hum sab milke padai karenge across the year. In addition to thousand hours of content already, all this content will go into online mbbs.com video library, this powerpoints, everything will go there. You can always revise there also, right? But the whole purpose is videos are videos, doctor. Only when there is a live online interactivity, 
you feel motivated to study every day that is what is required so dr gastrectomy if you happen to do there is a rapid passage of the food of a very high osmolarity from the stomach into the small intestine the moment it is dumped because stomach capacity stomach is what it is a container of the food when we eat if you have done gastrectomy it is quickly shifting and when the bolus of food comes and falls into the small intestine there is a rapid shift of the extracellular fluid into the intestinal lumen and that lead to the distension of the lumen and the distended lumen will tell the brain i got distended and that will lead to autonomic response so you should remember increased gastric impaired gastric volume after you do gastrectomy rapidly delivers it into the gut that lead to hyperosmolar contents enter into the duodenum that will release the vasoactive intestinal polypeptide secretin etc etc and which is responsible for your early dumping syndrome then why late dumping whenever the food contents are uh, dumped into the gut uh, that will rapidly cause the absorption of the glucose and that will lead to rise of insulin and that rise in insulin will lead to in turn hypoglycemia hypoglycemia stimulates the sympathetic system and that lead to the cardiovascular symptoms of late dumping no git symptoms in late dumping only cardiovascular whereas early dumping jo hota hai early dumping jo hota hai usme both gi symptoms because there is a movement of the fluid into the gut distension of the gut nausea vomiting so both gi symptoms and the severe symptoms that is early dumping late dumping only serious symptoms that is what you need to remember right doc so late dumping is uncommon it is induced by the meals which have a high carbohydrate content they appear one to four hours there is a react to hypoglycemia with a sympathetic activation there is no abdominal cramping that is what you need to remember so early dumping gi symptoms vasomota late dumping hypoglycemia with only sympathetic symptoms so the early will cause the intestines to expand and that lead to both gi symptoms and cvs late causes lead to hypoglycemia because of hyperinsulinemia which is caused by rapid absorption of the sugar is what you should understand so doctor that is the story of dumping now a 20 year old female pain in the right hypochondrium nausea vomiting two days what is the investigation of choice very good today internet is all going very well i believe right now <clears throat> good to see indrani uh goel and many more so doctor pain in the right hypochondrium that itself shows right hypochondrium may kya hai लिवर है गॉल ब्लैडर है गॉल स्टोन है गॉल स्टोन को पकड़ने के लिए अल्ट्रासाउंड बेस्ट है सो इनिशियल इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस इज अल्ट्रासाउंड नो इंट्रा हेपैटिक और एक्स्ट्रा हेपैटिक डक्टल डायलिटेशन इट शोज थिकनिंग ऑफ द वॉल पेरिकोलिसटेटिक फ्लूड डायलिटेशन ऑफ द बाइल डैक्ट एंड सोनोग्राफिक मर्फी साइन इफ यू आर अप्लाइंग प्रेशर that pain pain on inspiration so color doppler to know any ischemia so there is one ultrasound there is one technetium imido acetic acid hida scan so gold standard is technetium hida but initial investigation kya hota hai doctor एक्यूट कोलिसिस्टाइटिस एंड गर्ल स्टोन को पकड़ने के लिए अल्ट्रासाउंड 
Why? It is available easily, easy to access. And elevated serum bilirubin, if it is there, it won't interfere. No ionizing radiation. And you also can detect the presence of the stone. That is the reason in a case of cholecystitis, acute cholecystitis. Ultrasound is still in initial investigation of choice. Though the gold standard any day is Hida, is what you need to remember. That's right. Abhishek Verma is rightly saying non visualization on Hida is the way by which you will detect. Now, what are the risk factors for esophageal carcinoma, doctor? Once more, a very standard MCQ. Any gastroesophageal reflux disease lead to adenocarcinoma because of the parent's esophagus. Any tylosis, nitrosamines, they are all the risk factors. So, parent's esophagus, hiatal hernia, jolinger and obesity, smoking, males, risk factor for adenocarcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma, what are the risk factors? Squamous cell carcinoma typically is in the middle one third of the esophagus. Whereas adenocarcinoma is in the lower part of the esophagus. So age 60 to 70, echelasia, smoking, alcohol use, high starch diet, they are all the risk factors for squamous cell carcinoma. Age 50 to 60, male sex, gastroesophageal reflux, obesity, smoking and uh, Barrett's esophagus are all the risk factors for adenocarcinoma is what you need to remember. Similarly, um, anticholinergic drugs, cigarette smoking is also a risk factor for adenocarcinoma. Now, doctor, left kidney transplantation kare to kaha lagayega aap left kidney ko iliac fossa mein. Left kidney is the one which is preferred in renal transplantation because it has a longer left renal vein. And it is typically placed in the iliac fossa and it will leave the native kidney in, in situ in the retro peritoneal position. May native kidney go vahi rakke aap e naya wala left kidney la, lagayega. Kaha lagayega? You will put it in the iliac fossa is what you need to understand. So, doctor, Hum garam, hamare team is creating uh, powerpoints like garam garam vada dosha. So, one minute, I'll download the next uh, PPT. Please be online. So what are the plans for all of you doctor, new year day, so exam day, new year day, hum bohut uh, tension feel hote but it is like any other day. The worst is the valentine day, valentine day is a predisposing factor for the breakups. So also, New Year Day, anything with lot of expectation when we go, no doctor, that will be a disappointment. That's a big challenge of life. To learn to take the life as it comes is a big art. And it's very, very few people have that art actually. So, why all this anxiety, tension, doctor? Because uh, we give huge expectation. We expect a lot of things, right? Now, yes. So, just go to the exam without any expectations and uh, that is the way by which you will be able to become a winner in the exam. Right, Doc?
One minute, doctor. I'll try to. Two minutes. I'm downloading the next PPT. For one minute, I will uh, log out, uh, stop this broadcast, and then rejoin. Okay, doc. Stay online. Right, doctor, welcome back and let us continue. Niti Ayog, what does it represent? National Institute for Transforming India. National Institute for Transforming India, Government of India, Niti Ayog. It was formed in 1st January 2015 as a Government of India policy with headquarters in New Delhi. Narendra Modi ji ne shuru kiya after having dissolved the planning commission. The aim is basically to foster involvement and participation by the state governments in the economic policy making. So the chairperson is Honorable Prime Minister. Now, Doctor, on Republic Day, a camp was organized to screen for hypertension by checking the BP and diabetes by checking the blood sugar. By that, what are you achieving? You are doing a early diagnosis and treatment. That is the reason, what is that level of prevention, Doctor? Secondary prevention is what you need to remember. Now, a person comes with a right eye 6 by 60, left eye 3 by 60. Which type of blindness this is called as? So, the best eye is still having 6 by 60 makes it a low vision. So, doctor, Normal means 6 by 6 to 6 by 18. Visual impairment means less than 6 by 18 to 6 by 60. Severe visual impairment also called economic blindness is less than 6 by 60 to 3 by 60. Blind, social blindness means less than 3 by 60 to 1 by 60. Legal blindness means less than 1 by 16 only he is able to perceive the movements then complete blindness means no peer that is how you broadly classify so social blindness with a high vision 3 by 60 or diminution of field of vision to 10 degrees and manifest blindness means vision 1 by 60 to just perception of light absolute blindness means no perception of light is what you need to remember. So this is what uh, the WHO and National Program for Control of Blindness 
they both have little different terminologies but you should know both of them ba 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 black sheep have you any wool yes sir yes sir six bags full one bag has anatomical waste another bag has you have to be sure of that about without a question on waste disposal हमारा जिंदगी वेस्ट है अगर नहीं पढ़ के गए तो एग्जाम को सो इट इज रेड डॉक्टर सो पहला येलो बोलो येलो में क्या रहता है बोलो फटाफट बोलो ह्यूमन एनाटॉमिकल वेस्ट इंसिनरेशन एनिमल वेस्ट इंसिनरेशन सॉइल वेस्ट इंसिनरेशन एक्सपायर्ड और डिस्कार्डेड मेडिसिन इंसिनरेशन केमिकल वेस्ट डिस्पोज बाई इंसिनरेशन ये सब येल्लो में जाएगा Surely chemical liquid waste, discarded linen, microbiology, biotechnology, clinical laboratory waste, yellow में जाएगा, red में क्या जाएगा? Contaminated waste which is recyclable, tubings, bottles, IV tubes, catheters, urine bags, syringes, पूरा वात में रहने वाला कचरा without needles will go into red. Then white में क्या जाएगा? Waste shops and it is autoclaved or dry heat sterilization and shredding is being done. Blue me kya jayega? Glassware. You need to do disinfection, autoclaving or microwaving and recycling. So one point of interest here is expired cytotoxic discarded unopened vials are yellow. But broken, discarded, broken, discarded, other than cytotoxic waste and opened vials, they are going to blue. That is the point you need to understand. So what is the main focus of United Nations International Children's Fund for child health? Which is cardioprotective, HDL, examiner, next exam will ask. What is the desirable low risk level? Borderline low risk, high risk level. VLDL cholesterol is supposed to be less than 30. LDL cholesterol less than 130, borderline 130 to 160. High level risk is more than 160. HDL 35 to 60. If it is less than 35 means very high risk. Total cholesterol more than 240 is very high risk. Normally is 150 to 200. Triglycerides normally 50 to 150 and more than 500 is considered to be high risk is what you need to remember. Some acute sclerosing panencephalitis. Easiest question, biscuit question in the world. Measles. So measles ka late complication hota hai, subacute sclerosing pan encephalitis. Spermicide used in contraceptives, nanoxinol 19, but small. Entrance is only for 298, not 300. Why? One question on intrauterine contraceptive device, one question on OCP, one question on sterilization procedure. भैया इसके बिना पेपर नहीं होता है सो यू नो वॉट इज द बेस्ट वे टू बी नॉट पुअर इन लाइफ विथ फ्यू थिंग्स दैट यू आर हैविंग बी रिच विद देम देन यू विल नेवर फील द पॉवर्टी हाउ टू बी हैप्पी इन लाइफ to be not sad. You be contented and happy with what few things that you have in hand. You will not become sad. Similarly, doctor, while preparing for entrance exam, don't keep bothering that my pura 19 subjects ka naam bhi mujhe baalum nahi hai. Uska anesthesia to mein book bhi kharida nahi kabhi anesthesia ka textbook ko ta kya. Oh, tension na ko lega. 953 topics that I gave you, doctor, you have the mission in hand. 
and you try to achieve that mission, thoroughly achieve that mission, then you will never become sad. And be very sure, be confident, don't doubt it. From this 953 only, the 300 questions are going to come. If you spend 400 hours of time on this 953 topics first, that's all, right? So, today contains nanoxinol 9, which is permissible, it blocks the cervix and the absorption of the semen, it acts for 24 hours. But toxic shock syndrome, anything that you put inside will have risk of toxic shock syndrome. Complex spots are seen in measles. Complex spots appear about a day after coryza and cough and two days after the onset of fever in case of measles is what you should remember. Sustainable Development Goals Health for all by 2000 Health for all by 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000 We have all uh, 1991 may I joined medical college MBBS first year तब से 2000 तक इसी का जब करते हुए था बाद में आया millennium development goals अभी क्या चल रहा है डॉक्टर sustainable development goals एग्जाम में पूछ रहे हैं who designed the sustainable development goals United Nations organization sustainable goals क्या है Goal 1, 2, 3, 4, my God. 17 goals, doctor. 17 hai. Garibi khadao. Koi bhi neta yeki mantra bolna padega. Garibi khadao. In all forms. Goal 2. End hunger. Achieve food security. Goal 3. Ensure healthy lives and promote well being. I'm not going to read all 17. 17 goals hai, you and more discovered kiya, oh hai sustainable developmental goals, bas, katam, kail katam, dukan bar. But still, you try to remember all these uh, main words, what are these 17? So, 2030 agenda for sustainable development, hum ba, thank God. That means, agar hum need PG ke liye, aur das saal padai kare to bhi, a goals to change nahi hoga, naya goals nahi aega, right? None. What is Kyoto Protocol? Kyoto Protocol reduce the greenhouse gas emission. Greenhouse gas emission. Emission bole to, bomb, bomb bole to, Hiroshima, Hiroshima bole to, Japan, Japan bole to, Tokyo, Tokyo bole to, Kyoto. Huh? So Kyoto Protocol. In Kyoto, Japan, they have drawn an agreement that each country will be given kitna emission it can release target emission because there is a global warming for our great grandchildren also we should keep the planet safe now now 40 year old male with HIV also found to have TB one plus one that's an offer both HIV and also TB both of them are there for the patient, same patient. So, what do you want to do? Pahela ye ya pahela o. First romance, then marriage or marriage and then romance. What do you want to do? First start ATT, then give antiretroviral. That is a typical prescription is what you should remember. Yes, doctor. So, start antiretroviral in all HIV individuals. But start TB treatment first, followed by ART. That is considered to be the most important recommendation. Unless there is a very high risk of HIV disease progression, TB HIV to dono hai to TB pehla and begin ARV later. So, first line treatment options may we use zidovudine, 
लैमिगुडीन और नेविरापिन थ्री टी सी एंड डी फोर टी नाउ एफ्रीकन सबर्ब ऑल पॉपुलेशन वॉज गिवन की मोह प्रोफ्लैक्सिस फॉर मलेरिया वॉट इज द काइंड ऑफ प्रिवेंशन कमा पंचुअल आंसर स्टॉप दिन आप जाके मलेरिया का डायग्नोसिस कर रहे हैं क्या नहीं कर रहे तो सेकेंडरी प्रिवेंशन नहीं है देन आर यू प्रिवेंटिंग एमरजेंस ऑफ एनी रिस्क फैक्टर्स वो तो अफ्रीका है अफ्रीका में मलेरिया बहती है जैसे भारत में टीबी बहती है सो ऑलरेडी यू आर यू आर इन अफ्रीका में इट्स ऑलरेडी यू हैव रिस्क फैक्टर इट्स सो इट इज नॉट प्राइम ऑडियल सो इट इज प्राइमरी इज वॉट यू शुड रिमेम्बर अभी आ गया बायो स्टैटिस्टिक्स का हाँ अब सब लोग हमारे साथ एट अवर्स गर्मा गर्म बायो स्टैटिस्टिक्स का डिस्कशन किए थे याद है ना कैसे बोलेंगे राइट सो ऑलमोस्ट 250 हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी एमसीक्यूज फ्रॉम द लास्ट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ ऑल इंडिया वी हैव डिस्कस्ड डिबेटेड राइट नॉट सो सुरेखा कहा है सुरेखा आ गया हा डॉक्टर सुरेखा बोलने से हम पढ़ाई दिया डेडिकेटेड टू सुरेखा सो इस क्वेश्चन का एटलीस्ट सुरेखा यू शुड गिव ए करेक्ट आंसर नहीं तो आई विल क्राइक क्योंकि आपके अनुरोध पे हम ये गाना सुनाया आपको बायो स्टैटिस्टिक्स का गिव ए स्ट्रॉन्ग आंसर गुरु प्रसाद एम डी जनरल मेडिसिन इज प्रपोजिंग मेन डबी इज सेंग मेन सुरेखा वॉट इज योर आंसर Life is good is also saying mean. Absolutely mean, mean, mean. Because range, variance, standard deviation, they are all the measures of dispersion. Is what you should remember. For severe malnutrition, the mean arm circle of the. Mid arm circumference will be less than how much? Shakil step is something that you should not forget. So, doctor, it is twelve point five centimeters. The mid upper arm circumference is a good indicator of the mortality risk associated with malnutrition compared to weight for height. So, more than thirteen point five is normal. Twelve point five to thirteen point five is at risk. 11 to 12.5 is moderate acute and less than 11 is called severe so to call severe what is the who and unicef definition severe malnutrition weight for height below three standard deviations of the median visible severe wasting bipedal edema mid arm circumference less than 11.5 severe acute malnutrition so any child in the age group with a circumference less than 12.5 is considered suffering from severe malnutrition between 12.5 to 13.5 mild to moderate malnutrition is what you need to remember so ye shakir ka tape hai na shakir ka tape liye to aap tape lagaye to if he is wasted it will touch the red it is still in the red color point pe rehta circle karke lagate na so red red pe aa gaya tailor ka then it is wasted less than 12.5 yellow means borderline 12 to 13.5 normal is green in shakir step which is more than 13.5 you also have a quack stick method so Early malnutrition of acute onset. You will be using a stick which is being graduated with figures for mid arm circumference in relation to height. So the values are given fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty percent. So a quack stick method may be zones later. Red means severe PM. Yellow means borderline. Green means Normal nutritional status. 
Then one more thing examiner is going to ask in the tomorrow's exam. Triceps skin fold thickness. We use it between 1 to 6 years. More than 10 mm, normal. 6 to 10 mm, mild to moderate. Less than 6 mm, severe malnutrition. Then can you calculate mid arm muscle circumference by using triceps skin fold thickness? Is there any formula? Definitely. So mid arm circumference minus 3.14 into triceps skin fold thickness will give you mid arm muscle circumference. So there is one more thing called bangle method which is used in preschool children. You will slip a bangle of diameter 4 cm up to the forearm. This method is simple and easy. It is not quite reliable. And if it is able to slip above the elbow means malnutrition. Similarly, Quetlet index, Dugdale index, Kanagati McLaren's index, Ponderal index. Chalo, chodenge. At least mid arm circumference, triceps thickness, ye dono cheeze, shakir te, bas. And definition of mild, moderate, severe, PEM according to WHO, UNICEF. A 5-6 parallels ko padai kare to, kaafi hai doctor, right? Once more, PEM, such a hot topic in uh, both NEET PG, AIMS, JIPMAD, FMG, all exams. Because this is a common area for PSM, SPM, sleep promoting medicine, pediatrics, pediatrics, tricks, tricks, pediatrics. So, trickster banda chate kya? Pediatrics. Vaha bhi PM hai. Now, mid arm muscle circumference, they call muscle circumference diya. Less than how much is Merasmus? 15. So, because arm circumference is relatively constant in the age group of 1 to 5 years, it is used as an indicator. Mid arm circumference of less than 11 cm indicates severe malnutrition in infants from 1 to 6 months of age. So, Merasmus bol rahe to, weight less than 80%, tricep, triceps skin 3 millimeters 80 percent predicted value say we come high to weight less than 80 percent and mid arm circumference less than 15 centimeters defines marasmus similarly creatinine height index less than 60 percent of the standard value question kar bole to mainly it is a protein gap marasmus is a calorie gap all of you know very well. So, yaha kya hai? What is the benchmark to define? Serum albumin less than 2.8, transferring less than 150. That is called quashi orchid. Just may edema, skin changes, pluckable hair, a sub cheese everything. Parabat, so just to ek futuba lelo, if you are feeling bit shaky in this. Quickly go back to the online MBBS or the textbook that you have studied and do a quick revision of PM. Because two questions came in FMG means definitely one question minimum aega need PG 2020 paper out. Take it. Huh. Now, chemo prophylaxis of choice. Suppose if you are going to an endemic malarial area, what is the one? Chloroquine, by the way, prophylaxis ke baare mein, malaria, chemo prophylaxis ke baare mein, uh, standard jankari hona chahi. You should start one to two weeks prior to the travel. And uh, one to four weeks after departure from the area. Continue prophylaxis. If it is a chloroquine sensitive plasmodium falciparum mendemic area, chloroquine should be started one week before exposure and continued for four weeks after. 
If it is a chloroquine resistant falciparamania, chloroquine should be started one week before, continued during exposure and for four weeks thereafter, along with progvenil. It need to be started one to two days before and continued during exposure and four weeks thereafter. So chloroquine plus progvenil if it is area chloroquine resistant falciparamania. Suppose if that resistance is very high, high resistance hai to, chloroquine plus proquinil or mefloquine should be started two to three weeks before and continued during exposure and for four weeks thereafter. Or you can also instead of mefloquine you can give doxycycline, doxycycline, mefloquine, both of them are useful two days before continued during exposure and for four weeks thereafter. And you can also give etamoquone plus progvenil also can be administered. Koi aapka fiancee America se India aana hai. Aap to machar hai na, Mr. Machar. So, what is the chemo prophylaxis? Hey honey, you are coming to India. We are blood sucking mosquitoes. So please be careful. What will you tell her? Suppose she is landing in Jammu Kashmir directly in Jammu Kashmir mein romantic uh, location choose kiya milne ke liye. Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim, they are free from malaria. Malaria is no more a risk of more than 2000 meters ke upar hai. So for visitors to the Plasmodium falciparum endemic area, you can give doxycycline 100 mg once a day as the drug of choice for short term prophylaxis. But doxycycline is contraindicated in children less than eight, less than eight years. Pregnancy may kya prophylaxis hai doctor? Chloroquine, proquinil are the preferred chemo prophylactic agents for malaria in the first three months of pregnancy. Mefloquine can be given in second and third trimester depending on the demand. Non-pregnant women hai to mefloquine, doxycycline can be given then pregnancy made doxycycline is contraindicated. Even primaquine should never be given in pregnant. So that is the bit of story. Once more I want to tell you doctor. Hum pharmacology mein dil laga ke 1100 MCQs topic wise classify kiya. 15 years of all India in PG ka, pharmacology ka. Iska 35 hours ka garma garam discussion ki te hum 60 topics, higher topics in pharmacology, the best discussion. Recently in March, April mein, o pura sare videos are all made available in the online mbbs.com, video library doctor, along with the PPTs, video PPTs, video PPTs are all available for you to become experts in pharmacology. Malaria, anti-malarial drugs, top 20 topics mein hai. Pharmacology mein hai. Janab, aap garma garam padna chahiye. And low fever vaccine ek var diye to pura jindagi tamam. It is valid. Now, Kuppuswami classification. What does it include, doctor? इनकम कितना है तुझे शादी करने के लिए तेरा सैलरी कितना है पेस्लिप कितना है एक जमाने में दैट वाज नॉट द क्राइटेरिया तू मर्द है हम नारी है काफी है मिलके साथ साथ में जिएंगे बट टुडे आई अर्न यू अर्न आई डोंट केयर व्हाट यू अर्न yeah, definitely I care what you earn, but don't ask me how I spend. But since you're earning, your payslip is good, Kupu Swami is happy, I like to marry. Oh, are you from software company? No, sir, I am MBBS doctor. No, get out. Occupation MBBS is a misfit for shadi.com. It is anti shadi.com. Education, oh, MBBS, MD cup, karage, beta. No, 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 no. My toe. B.Sc. Microsoft में जो प्रोग्रामर है उसको शादी करूँगा. Get out. 
so income occupation education all the three kuppu swami classification may as doctors we suffer a lot of disadvantage doctor right so kuppu swami devised it in 1976 education of the head of the family occupation of the head of the family income per month from all sources that is called kuppu swami accordingly high middle and low so 26 to 29 is called upper class 16 to 25 upper middle etc etc so what is the most sensitive test for microfilaria doctor membrane filter concentration technique and not the concentration method both of them are very sensitive compared to thick blood smears because they can be used to concentrate the microfilaria that is what you need to remember vaccination mass chemo prophylaxis what is that called as specific protection specific protection mein kya aata specific immunization chemo prophylaxis massively given specific nutrient protection in the specific accidents protection in the specific occupational hazards protection of air pollution they all come under specific protection is what you need to remember disaster management may the chances of survival ke basis pe uh aap triage karte hain isko kya bolte triage bolte even to win the neat pg exam fmg exam also triage abhi kitne 4 5 din mein exam hai if you have never read renal tubular acidosis abhi ja ke apna brain ko break mat karna chhod do right so you should know what i can't conquer right now uh, and uh, what are those in the top 20 if i don't conquer i don't even stand a chance so the priority high yield topics priority is most important doctor in life so triage first come first treated triage consists of rapidly classifying the injured on the basis of severity likelihood of their survival accordingly high priority low priority that is what you divide भैया इसका भी एक कलर कोडिंग है पंडर इज नो अदर ऑप्शन एग्जाम एक कलर कलर टेस्ट करेगा आपका कितना कलर में हो इमीडिएट ट्राइज प्रायोरिटी वन कलर रेड चस्ट वोन शॉक ओपन फ्रैक्चर्स सेकेंड एंड थर्ड डिग्री बर्ड्स डिलेड ट्राइज प्रायोरिटी टू येलो स्टेबल एबडोमल वोन आई एंड सी एन एस इंजरीज मिनिमल ग्रीन minor burns minor fractures minor bleeding expectant black unresponsive high spinal cord injury is called expectant that's how the triage classification goes in doctor what is not a contraindication of opd so you should remember that leukemia malignancy immunocompromised there are all the contraindication for a live attenuated vaccine like opv even household contact of immunocompromised patients pregnancy there are all the absolute contraindications any vomiting there yeah relative contraindication that is what you should remember vision 2020 what is the disease that later was added glaucoma was added right doc so under vision 2020 cataract childhood blindness blindness refractive error corneal blindness glaucoma diabetic retinopathy trachoma trachoma ke liye say strategy corneal blindness ke liye eye banking childhood blindness ke liye school eye screening program vitamin a prophylaxis refractive errors ke liye refraction centers at primary health centers and the low vision service centers in tertiary care centers cataract ke liye intensified surgical intervention with uh, yak in the district hospital yak laser treatment is being provided 
डायबिटिक रेडिनोपैथी के लिए अवेयरनेस इन द हेल्थ वर्कर्स दैट ऑल हैज बीन स्टार्टेड ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी एट थर्टी सेवन वीक्स मदर इज एच पी एस सी जी पॉजिटिव बहुत पैसिव एक्टिव इम्यूनाइजेशन करना है जो फायदा हुआ राजकुमार को हेपेटाइटिस बी वैक्सीन एंड हेपेटाइटिस बी इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन के शांत खाड़ियों मायोपति हाँ दूध पीते छोटा बच्चा भी आंसर कर सकता है ऐसे क्वेश्चंस को सेलिनियम लेट मी टेल यू डॉक्टर आउट ऑफ 300 क्वेश्चंस 150 क्वेश्चंस ऐसे ही रहता व्हाट इज दिस क्वेश्चन कॉल ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग बेबी आल्सो कैन बी एबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चंस कोई कहीं बोल के आंसर करेगा उतना सिंपल रहता अगर प्रिपरेशन हो तो व्हाट इज द डिजीज मैनिफेस्टेड बाय दिस क्रीचर बक Call azar, so doctor, jara sandfly ko dekhe pata chalna hai ab. Kya ye sandfly kaise ho bida? Bahut din ho gaya milke. So matcher kaise pakarna aur recognize karna aana chahiye yamd me sitaane ke liye, right? So you should know what is Aedes, what is Anopheles. Which mosquito will lie down like this while breeding? Which mosquito will be floating on the top of the water and release the eggs? Bah! This entomology doctor, I feel like crying. But we need to, we need to, we need to do a quick revision. Okay, pura image-based MCQs data hai examiner. Recognize this organism who is lying down like Sri Mahavishnu. On uh, uh, Tiruvananthapuram temple, can you be able to identify looking at its features, its wings? Examiner will ask you. But you have to say, you have to. So, park textbook me, you have to image right there, doctor. How do you differentiate different types of mosquitoes? You be very sure on Macherology in order to become MD. Now, which concept you contraindicated in DVT? OCP. So, how many questions are there? Contraception, almost 4 or 5 questions. Absolute contraindication for IUCD. Absolute, absolute. Don't confuse absolute with relative. Acute PID. For the effort, follow doctor. Absolute contraindications for intrauterine contraceptive device. आप सुन रहे हैं डॉक्टर मुरली बरेवाज अनएम्प्लॉयड एमडी जनरल मेडिसिन से क्या सुन रहे हैं आप एफएमजी का क्विक रिव्यू ऑन दिसंबर थर्टी फर्स्ट सो डॉक्टर प्रेगनेंसी पीआईडी प्यूपरल सेप्सिस पोस्ट सेप्टिक अबॉर्शन अनएक्सप्लेन्ड वेजिनल ब्लीडिंग मेलिग्नेंट ट्रोफोब्लास्टिक डिसीज कॉपर एलर्जी ब्रेस्ट then relative contraindications क्या होता है? Risk factor for sexually transmitted infections, impaired response to infection like in HIV positive women, then uh, ovarian cancer, benign gestational trophoblastic disease. There are relative contraindications. पर एक बार one more question. Contraceptive device best for newly married couple is OCPs. Anthracosis is caused by cold dust. Once more, tomorrow need page 2020. लिखने के बाद आप बाहर आके बोलेगा रे आप वही बात बोला डॉक्टर मुरली बरतवाज 300 को नहीं था एग्जाम पर only for 295 because five questions came from OCPs, IUCD, chubectomy, vasectomy. Definitely आएगा. Now doctor. So in the last moment, what is what we have in the past, we have to be happy with it. Now, if you don't have to study it like that, the other guy's job was only reading. What is, what was your job? You are with your girl, you are taking her to movies, you are taking her for a dance on the floor, you are having a candlelit dinner. आप ये सब करते वक्त आपका दोस्त ने reading room में underline, underline, underline करते हुए पढ़ाई किया। तो last moment में उसको compare करने में क्या मतलब है? कुछ भी नहीं है। तो इसलिए be happy, 
don't worry so you should enjoy but what is definitely asked emphatically asked by the neat pg pattern you have to at least do revision last moment revision right now so this is the anthracolosis now if you want to screen vitamin a deficiency ये सब चीज़ है विटामिन ये में रहता, मगर कुछ मन यू यूज़ पर स्क्रीनिंग इन ए सर्वे, कम ऑन, पंच वर आंसर डॉक्टर, ऐसे क्वेश्चन्स में गेस मारे तो गेस विल डेफिनेटली गो रॉंग दे, चलो, लेट मी चेक, क्वेश्चन नंबर 68, 68, गोयल बोल रहे हैं, बी, अच्छा, इंदिरा बोल रहे हैं Retinol, मतलब you will biochemically collect retinol and send the survey में कोई पैसे देना नहीं चाहिए ना इंदिरा जी unless Congress party is sending that money श्री लेखा सेल्वम is proposing by not sports मोहन बाबू want to go to every chain बेटा रामू रात में कैसे दिख रहे हैं तुझे बोलके पूछते क्या हाँ, is it? देखा ना डॉक्टर, पढ़ने से पढ़ने से कुछ मिलता क्या? Common sense, confidence, they are more important than sometimes concepts, right? ऐसा रहता entrance exam आप बोले तो जो पढ़ते हैं उसमें जो क्वेश्चन होता है वो अजीब दिखता है क्योंकि उसको आंसर करने के लिए कॉमन सेंस का जरूरत है जो नहीं पढ़े सो उसमें से भी क्वेश्चन आता है सो दैट इज द रीजन एग्जाम लुक्स ट्रिकी हाँ चलो मैं बताता हूं अभी आंसर व्हाट इज दैट नाइट ब्लाइंडनेस नाइट ब्लाइंडनेस और बाइट आउट स्पॉट्स Actually, I am not very sure. There are some studies which say bite out spots in surveys, and uh, there are some WHO recommendation manuals which are saying night blindness. We will check that, right? So, completed family size ka matlab kya hota hai, doctor? Haan, this is another tricky question, Appa. Ah, maine answer dikha diya aapko. Uh, I still feel. Uh, bite outs would be a perfectly correct answer, right? Now, completed family size. Generally, it's confusion ki baat hai. The average number of live born children for a woman, assuming that she has completed her childbearing, is called completed family size. Family size. That is what you need to appreciate. Now, 100% mortality disease may incidence and prevalence ke beech mein kya relationship rehta? 100% mortality matlab naya case old banne ka chance nahi mar jayega. So, that is the reason the prevalence will be, what is prevalence? New plus old. Incidence, only new. So, old are dying then. Old are no more there. So new. So P will be equal to I. SARS is a variant of what? Coronavirus. Severe acute respiratory syndrome is SARS coronavirus. Achha, symptom is night blindness. Sign is by God. I think symptom sign ke upar hota. Kya answer? We don't know what is there in examiner's mind. This is a beautiful question, doctor. Question number 72. Come on. Punch your answers, doctor. Punch your confident answer. B12 deficiency leads to which anemia? They can get. Aapka. Luck ka pariksha ki jiye, doctor. Test your luck factor in answering this question. Haan. One strong answer. So I can see B versus D. Very good. Abhishekta Palla is also saying B. Doctor, 
macrocytic normochromic why hypochromic normochromic so always microcytic hypochromic anemia means iron deficiency sideroblastic thalassemia chronic anemia of chronic disease macrocytic normochromic is normal mch c high mcv and mch megaloblastic anemia liver disease post splenectomy so uh macrocytic normochromic anemia are divided into megaloblastic non megaloblastic so all macrocytic are not megaloblastic macrocytic can be megaloblastic non megaloblastic so liver disease alcoholism hypothyroidism they are all responsible for it. non megaloblastic macrocytic anemia is what you need to remember best compilation is saying uh, in exam only one macro option was there sir whatever it is the fact is macrocytic normochromic hypochromic right i think none was there in the options option d was none there. that should be then the correct answer n95 respirator where do we use doctor in airborne, Delhi may write up. Airborne precaution. This is called N95 respirator. So it will have a very close facial fitting. For airborne particles, go, it blocks at least 95% of very small. 0.3 microns is what you need to remember. Worms, bugs, bacteria which are attached to clothing are called contamination. Tabjet couple, I think it is the same question. Eligible couple different hai, target couple different hai. Couple that is eligible for practicing the family planning. So eligible couple kya hota hai doctor, target couple kya hota hai, favorite question of examiner. Eligible couple is a newly married couple wherein the wife is in the reproductive age group eligible couple target couples who have two to three living children are even newly married couples to make them accept the idea of the family planning from the earliest possible stage is called target so i still remember once upon a time, we used to, we guys used to give pamphlets at the time of entrance exam, right? So, those who are in primary health center jobs, all say freshly passed out guys used to come on bikes. The primary health center jobs mein jo rete hai, wo ek marthi kar mein nikalte wife children everyone papa bye good luck for exam they'll be waiting for you after this we will go for matinee show after having idli right so okay beta bye bye he used to go into exam hall so target couple bole to two to three living children hai fir bhi he need to accept the idea of family planning because fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh can anytime be born. Eligible couple means wife is an MBBS first year to 15 to 45 years need PG aspirant eligible couple. Okay. So one of the eldest guy who got seat, who brought me Laddu packet of results came was 52 year old. He got seat in MS orthopedics. He said, sir, he is a PSC, primary health center doctor. Always, if a recent passed out student gets uh, MD seat, uh, okay, it's a part of the game. Expected. Somebody who in a government quota happened to get seat among our students, above, it is a great feeling. It is like another two stars. Uh, it's like becoming the major general of army for me. So I asked, 50 to pay MS orthopedics later, Dr. Sambuleto. Ha ha, at least it will help me 
my to treat my own fracture so i am still uh, from uh, mbbs days I, I, I he was actually super senior to me so that's what i'm saying you doctor any day it is worth you got into md ms means ek baar you became king of england you are king forever right so that is the reason with a good hope enjoy the preparation right there is nothing uh, like uh, if you have done if you have read well carry common sense confidence don't carry brain to exam hall right exam hall mein kuch sochne ki soch vichar karke answer karne wala cheez kuch bhi nahi rehta spinal cord level pe fatafat like ak 47 you should shoot the way you do it on our youtube live broadcast classes right when the quiz is running like that now the number of teeth in primary dentition 20 teeth once more dentition favorite question when will incisor come which is the first incisor to first uh, primary to to erupt uh, fall down uh, all those things so 20 teeth so in each arch how many primary teeth you have two central incisors two lateral incisors two canines and four molars 2 2 2 6 plus 4 10 upper jaw lower jaw so 20 a patient with pink colored skin cyanosis bitter almond smell khatam khatam cyanide poisoning you'll be able to jump and answer far by presenting with a pin point pupil increase in secretions because of excess acetylcholine due to acetylcholine esterase inhibition caused by organophosphate classical question on op poisoning is what you should remember mac norton's rule come on question number 79 who is going to give me the correct answer doctor ek ipc section malum hona hai doctor kyunki aajkal hum doctors book hartal bahut kar rahe na isliye we should know what are our rights if we break the glass we should know under what section we cannot break under what section we can be protected in spite of breaking dono malum hona chahiye come on answer this question doctor gurjar gupta best compilation everyone is saying 84 very good now i will tell what stupid idiotic way of remembering this pehla milo daniel macnaughton sakka se oh soch raha hai ki government is all against him it is going to kill him so he went and attacked the parliament he went and attacked the government because unke dimag mein chal raha hai ki government is not going to let so that's how he got acquitted macnaughton norton mein kitna spelling sara chahiye नॉटन में कितना लेटर्स है एन ए यू जी एच टी ओ एन एट लेटर्स रूल में फोर लेटर्स सो हो गया एटी फोर आई पी सी डोंट टेल डॉक्टर मुरली भारद्वाज टीच लाइक दिस बट टेल लेट मी टेल यू डॉक्टर हमारा रूम मेट्स रीडिंग रूम मेट्स व्हाट्सएप मेट्स यूट्यूब मेट्स हर एक जगह मेट्स रहता है ना कुछ लोग they will give a true value addition doctor the true value addition comes from our classmates more than the teaching gurus let me tell you right so they some of our friends will have some funny way of remembering that is most important easy to remember the poisoning caused by bullet retained inside the body there's a temptation that bullet means nitrocellulose but that is not the reason it is the lead lead intoxication from the retained bullets is known to be fatal is what you need to remember nitrocellulose is a part of most of the gun powders during examination in injury hair bulbs are crushed what is the type of wood standard mcq incision in incision laceration abrasion right all these injuries hanging drowning standard topics right 
So, Dr. Laceration. Lacerations are the blunt force injuries in which the skin and underlying tissues are torn apart because of the application of the pressure. The edge of the wounds are irregular, ragged, bruised. And uh, the blood vessels are crushed. Usually external hemorrhages are not that marked in laceration. Foreign material can be found inside it. Laceration ke importance kya hai? Generally they are accidental or homicidal. Never suicidal. Koi suicide se lacerate nahi karta. The distribution of shape can help to reconstruct the event. And the trace matter can be found in the laceration. Abhi aagaya favorite question of the examiner. Ye table ko you have to mug it doctor. Laceration versus incision difference kya hai? The hair and hair bulbs are crushed. That is laceration. Hair and hair bulbs are not crushed. Incision. Edges are bruised. Laceration. Base of the wound has bridging across the muscle fibers. Base of the wound. Laceration. No such bridging in case of incision is what you need to remember. Now doctor. In entry wound of the skull, bevelling, 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 where do you see? We see it in the inner table. So, internal bevelling is classical of external wounds and the shape of the bevelling will indicate the direction of fire. Exit wound is often larger than entry wound. So this is the exit, this is the entrance. Exit is larger than entry. Then scorching grease collar is such is a jo entrance wound mein rehta hai, exit mein nahi rehta. Edges of an exit wound are often everted. That's what you need to remember. So this is the entry wound, it is beveled in. Exit wound, it is beveled out is what you should understand. So, entry wound is small, edges are inverted, it is more regular, the powder mass is present, abrasion collar and bevelling is internal. That is what you need to remember, entry versus exit wound. So, in autopsy of a suspected poisoning, stomach, intestine, liver, ke saath, aur kya preserve karega? Kidney, kidney, kidney ko preserve karega, doctor. So, liver, stomach, small intestine, spleen, blood, kidney. These are the things which are basically preserved, visceral preservation. So, you have four bottles, bottle one, stomach with its contents and proximal one third of intestine with its contents. Bottle two, half of each kidney and 500 grams of liver. Bottle three, 100 ml of blood. Bottle four, only the preservative acts as a control. Four bottles like that. Liver, liver me pura story nikalta. Pura story liver me reta because it concentrates many substances. Heart me stricken in digitalis. Brain me Neurotoxic poisons and alkaloids, bile may, glutathione, barbiturates, narcotics, cocaine, opiates, lung may, gaseous poison, cyanide, alcohol, chloroform, vitreous humor may, alcohol and chloroform, bone may, arsenic, uterus may, chemical abortion can be detected. Like that, there is a list. I leave that literature for you, doctor. All our PPT slides are all available along with the video in the online MBBS.com video library. Anytime you can happily revise. There are two lakh PowerPoint slides of notes accompanying every video lecture. So please tell your juniors to join right now. We are running a subscription at a throw away price, significantly discounted. So a good number of students, they pay a little advance now and then after the exam is over, you can pay 
uh, full fee and can be able to join. We promise you at least 500 hours of live online interaction with 1000 plus hours video lecture already in the video library. So Dr. Poisoning may preservative kya istemal karega. In all cases of the poisoning except acid poisoning. Of course, carbolic acid is exception, saturated salt. For acid poisoning except carbolic acid, rectified spray. Carbon monoxide poisoning, a layer of paraffin. And all cases of the poisoning, including the alcohol poisoning for blood, potassium oxalate and sodium fluoride. This is the preservatives ke open invariably one question I have adopted. Right? One of the another very high level topic. So you identify this condition. This is dura ke bahar, bone ke andar, extra dural hemorrhage, which is arterial. Once more, one of the types of hypoxia. Physiology may very hot, hot, garma, garm cushion. You have to be sure about it. Hypoxic hypoxia is seen whenever there is any arteriovenous or a left to right shed. So hypoxic hypoxia is seen in high altitude, respiratory muscle paralysis, COPD, restrictive lung disease, etc. etc. And even alveolar ventilation if it is uneven or any non-uniform pulmonary blood flow like anatomical shunts, right to left shunts. So, hypoxic hypoxia, typically they have a low atmospheric oxygen, low PO2. Anemic hypoxia, normal PO2. Please don't forget. Histotoxic hypoxia does not respond to oxygen therapy. You should be sure. So, hypoxic hypoxia, there is a decreased PO2 on inspired air, venous to arterial shunt, that lead to development of hypoxic hypoxia is what you need to remember. So Shanti, 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 he doctor. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, wonderful spending together for almost all two hours, 15 minutes. And uh, what is our day? They will all spend together the midnight entering into the new year online live broadcast space. So doctor, we will continue this discussion of the FMG 2019 December pattern tonight at uh, 11 p.m. We'll start the session. So please tell your uh, classmates also that to join the broadcast at 11 p.m and let us all walk together. So every year during MD, while I was doing MD general medicine in design section of medical sciences, Diwali day and uh, uh, Valentine day, New Year day, all three years, Mera duty tha, casualty me, emergency me. Coincidentally, right? So, uh, it is really enjoyable, you know. Birthdays and all that, ideally we should celebrate in uh, casualty and emergency because people may be dying, but we are born with a purpose to be with the people who are dying, right? So, that gives a great, great spirit. So, thank you once more, doctor. And uh, 11 p.m., we will all meet up to continue our discussion of FMG December 2019 pattern. Bye-bye. Enjoy a great evening.